Hi, this is Alan from Max Foundry, here to demonstrate the features of Media Library Folders. Media Library Folders is a WordPress plugin that allows you to organize the files in your media libraries. It lets you create folders, move files, and rename files. So let's take a look at the Media Library Folders page. Here on this page, down here we have the toolbar, I mean the folder tree that allows us to navigate through our folders. And here we have the content area where we can see the contents of a particular folder. We have the toolbar and the message area. Notice that when we put the mouse over a button in the toolbar, it shows us the function of that button. And when the process is going on, the progress will be uh, a message, messages about the progress of the operation will appear here. And here we'll show a string of the currently selected folder. Now let's see about how we can make use of some of the basic features. Let's see about uploading files. Clicking the Add File button reveals the Uploads area. Here we can upload a single file if we use the Browse button, but we may want to upload multiple files. And for that, we can use drag and drop. So let's go to our File Manager and grab some files, bring them over here and release them over the Upload area, and they'll be added to the folder. And now the files have been added. So how can we add a new folder? Well, we select our current folder and then we click Add Folder. This reveals a place to type in the folder name. Let's create a folder for birds. And type in the name, click the button, and the folder has been added. Now to move files into this folder, we can grab a file and drag it over here and release it and the file has been moved. To move several files, we can click their checkboxes. Then drag any of the checked files over to the new location. Notice how the image is offset from the mouse, that you want to use the mouse and put it over the folder where you want to release it. So I will do that. And so the files are moved. And now we have the files in our new folder. Of course, I could have uploaded them directly to this folder without having to move them, and I would recommend you do that. So now if we want to rename a file, we can choose a only one file and click the Rename button and type in a new name with no spaces. And click this Rename button and the file is renamed. We can also delete a file. We can select the file or one or more files and click delete. Then it will ask if we're sure we want to delete the files Then we'll say OK. Going back up to our zoo folder, we can use the select unselect button to select all the files in the folder or deselect them. And if we want to select some that are next to each other, we can select the first one with clicking the checkbox, then going to the last one we want in the row and click. Hold down the shift key and click, and it will select all those in between. We can also, let's see, let's uncheck these. We can sort our files by name or we can sort them by the date they were added. And we have the sync function. So you see, WordPress Media Library is a database. It doesn't show you the files that are actually on your server. It shows you what's been imported in the database. So if you upload a file by FTP to your server, it won't show up here until it's been imported into WordPress and processed. Now I have two files on in this folder that I uploaded manually. So if I click the sync button, it will search and find those two files and add them to the folder and the files have been added. You can also regenerate thumbnails if you wish. You can select one or more files and click the Re Regenerate Thumbnails button to accomplish that. 
And if you have our free WordPress gallery, Max Gallery installed on your site, you can add files directly to a gallery. So over here I have Max Gallery open and I have a new gallery created. It's empty. I can come back over here and select files I want to add to the gallery. So here's a bunch of files I want to add. I can just select them all. Then I can click the Add to Max Gallery button and then I select the gallery. There it is. And then I say Add Images. And the images were added. So if I go back over here and refresh the page, the files have been added to the gallery. So also you have the items in the, in the uh, sub-menu. You can check for new folders. And this is also automatically done. You can regenerate thumbnails over your entire site if you wish. You can make use of the image SEO feature. That's to help your images be more search engine friendly. For instance, when you click on a image, you're taken to the Media Library's Edit Media page. And so you have a title, you have a, uh, at the top there, and you have the alternate text here. And notice it's blank. And so using the image SEO feature, you can say, I want to use the folder name and the file name in the, in the alternate text. I want to use the folder name and the word picture in the title. So you can turn this on by clicking turn on image SEO and then click update settings and it will show you that the settings were updated. And also when you go back to the media library folders page and click add file, you now see that we've added the image title text field and the alt image text field here so you can change these on the fly if you want to change the text and alt text from what's by default. But if you, when the next time you upload, they'll be back to the default values. We have a support section that provides troubleshooting tips, troubleshooting articles, and then their system information if we ever need to find out about your system. And then lastly, there is one setting that you can change. It says disable floating folder tree. You see here when we are at the Media Library folders page, notice how the folder tree always stays in view as you scroll up and down. But if you don't, if that's uh, doesn't always help you out in your use of the plugin, then you can turn it off. Simply click here, and then no, it will no longer float. So now it will go out of sight as we scroll up. This might be helpful when you have a long list of folders. So that's the Media Libraries Folders plugin, a very highly rated uh, plugin that will help you organize your files in WordPress.